So this time we're going to talk about putting pressure into the sand and figuring out if I put the pressure in a certain way, right. what would it give me? What type of shot would it give me? And we're talking about how much energy we are directing kind of into the ground, into the sand with yeah. the club head. You got it. Okay. Yeah. So the first one here, it's going to be quite light, almost okay. like you're brushing, you're just brushing through it, just right. so that we have some comparables. Good. Okay. So pretty light, not a whole lot of yep. thin yep. divot, kind of typical. You got it. So now we're going to start to amp this up and sort of push, put a bit more pressure so in So let's here. direct a lot more energy into the sand. Yep. Into the sand, yep. Interesting. Okay. And then one more. Put a lot of energy more into so? the sand. Yeah. Okay. So what do you notice with those ones? Uh, one, the the lightest one went far and low. Yeah. The firmer I felt that I went at the sand, I felt that it started to fly a little bit shorter and higher. Yeah. Yeah. Higher. Yeah. So one thing that people get wrong a lot of times is when they think that they're trying to open the club fist to generate the height. Ah. The club fist, like we talked about earlier, it's to regulate the depth of the oh, sand, okay. not to create naturally the height. So it's so that I can open it, the bounce prevents it from digging too much, and then I can really smack into the sand yeah. hard. So like if we were, if, if we were thinking about a decent lie, mm -hmm. if we were square and I just lowered my hands, yeah. I could still hit it high. Right. If I, if I pressurize oh, the sand the right way. So it doesn't need to be wide open no. necessarily. No. So we're going to try it square here. Okay. It's very, <laughs> high. no, it's higher probably even than where I started with the open face. Which, which Interesting. is a concept that I think people don't understand. No, I don't understand it either. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll try the same thing, lower the hands, a lot of pressure, but we're going to leave the club in the sand. Just stop. That's cool. So it came out softer? Yeah, yeah. You killed huh. some of the energy because you, you did it. Now you actually hit a little bit more behind that there yes. than we probably would have wanted, you know? Gotcha. We're doing this with good lies here at the minute just to show show decent lies and then we can work into some bad ones. Okay. Low hands and then good hard pressure. Oh. Wow. <laughs> It's quite amazing the height of that. Yeah. And the face is nothing even approaching open. It's yeah. really cool. But it's it's again we're trying to do these videos so that we can change the concepts that people think are controlling height and, and all distance. these types. And really it seem it seems to me like light pressure under the sand, I'm sure there's a time and a place for it, but yeah. it seems like if you're gonna air, that's not the side to air on. No. More no. pressure would be better most of the time. 100%. Yeah. yeah. I'm feeling that already because my body language in the, in the bunker is you know, being too careful and just trying to it's, just be light with it. Yeah. And it's, it's a bad way to hit sand <laughs> shots, isn't it? You, well, you have to be so good. Like, yeah. like you're, what you're saying is like, I have to be quite Perfect. incredible at this here. Now, there's going to be a sweet spot here. Obviously, if I open it a little bit, I should be able to create a little bit more height. Gotcha. But it's not the determining factor for height. Gotcha. It's just a, a fine tuning point. Yeah, okay, so, so a little bit more it. on the open side. Open, Would I still yeah. lower my hands? Yeah, no? lower your hands. Okay. Lowering the hands creates more loft. Ah, so okay. leaning it back actually creates a little bit more loft. Wow. That's cool. Wow. Look at the height of that. It's really high. Yeah, so just, and it, it also seemed like it maybe didn't go quite as far with the slightly more open face. Now, given that we probably don't want it to go um, as far, mm. but we still wanted to, to get the height. Yeah, we'd have to do something different. Okay, so why don't we? We don't necessarily want to open it anymore, you know, because that's going to then start to change. Because that height was pretty good. It's nice, yeah. Yeah, you know, I don't think you need anything higher, but we do want to change the way the energy of the ball comes out. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll. We're going to start off okay. with this one. We're going to roll here. Okay, so we'll roll the forearms we're like we're going to roll the forearms. About. Keep the pressure into the sand, pressurize that sand, okay. so you get the ball to pop up. Okay. 
did it too well. That's really interesting though. So a lot, I, I felt like I could have put more pressure into the sand for sure. Yeah. But even with that amount, we hit a shot that's actually just short of this pin. Yeah. Where so. I hit the same kind of swing on the previous one was five, 10 yards past yeah. it. Yeah. There it is. Beautiful. Third, fourth time's a charm. That's really cool. <laughs> that's really a cool shot. It's not a shot I've ever been able to hit. That specific type of like short, short lob. Yeah, short lob. Short lob for me is just hit and hope or chunk and run or something. Now let's see if we can take even more off it in terms of distance. Okay. Now there's a sweet spot. As we start to take obviously some of the energy off it, we're not gonna have nearly the same height. Of course. So like there's a there's like a an apex where it would be this distance here is probably getting into its highest or mid range. Yeah. A little further is probably a little bit higher. Yeah. A little bit shorter is going to be in terms of height. So still pressurizing it, but what I don't want is I don't want much forward energy. Okay. So follow through difference? Follow through. Open stance could be another one. Oh, uh, okay, okay. You know? Yep, good one. Just pressurize it down, pop it up. Beauty. That's cool. So I use the open stance to get a little bit less energy on it. Yeah. But you still pressurize the sand to get the ball up. In the that air. is the difference because open face without pressurizing it is just a nightmare. It's not going <laughs> to, it's just never good, is it? No. I hope these are coming across right because you're, you're getting them like. These like are, these really, are the best bunker really, shots I've really ever really hit. Good. Yeah. There's no question. Yeah. yeah. No question. They're the best I've ever hit. Beautiful. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying this, I've never hit a bunker shot like that. Yeah. I can promise you I've never hit one like that. That's really cool. The downwards and the pressurizing. And I can see just from the divots, we're actually moving, we're well not moving, but we're actually compacting sand with the divot. The divot isn't just going straight out. You got it. Wow. That's really cool. And that's the high, that's by far the highest one I've been able to hit. That was like twice the height of the flag. Yeah. But actually went the correct distance. Yeah. Because you now understand how to move sand. That's oh, crazy. <laughs> that's not an, I can feel already that's not enough pressure into it. Yeah. Maybe it was a little close. Like we're, 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 we're right we're, down to the We're on the liner, liner here, so it's not like, you know. But it, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely perceive my bunker shots differently now. If I hit one way too far, I'm not going to think um, short my backswing or something. I'm just going to think no, more pressure into the sand. Yes. <laughs> Go in. Oh. <laughs> no one's going to believe that it went in. Yeah. Nor should they. <laughs> That's awesome.